Hey, where do you experience imposter syndrome? Welcome to my channel, Life, Thoughts and Reflection. I'm Diana Nostrand. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about imposter syndrome because a lot of us actually experience this. Most of us actually experience this. Um, and what is imposter syndrome? Well, it's kind of um, this thing about fearing getting caught and getting exposed. Um, doubting your talent and your skills and typically while you should be in the exact opposite because the smarter you are the more likely you actually are to experience imposter syndrome I really use that a lot right <laughs> when I feel that's one of my coping mechanisms <laughs> when I have imposter syndrome I'm like okay mostly smart, smart people <laughs> have this so Think about that if you if you ever feel like, um, like okay, so I don't belong here. Why did I get this job? What am I doing here? Making a YouTube channel or whatever it is, think about. So, wow. Well, I'm feeling like this because I'm probably okay smart. <laughs> um, actually, the term imposter syndrome was coined by Pauline plants and Suzanne Imes. I'm so sorry if I screw the names up. I'm not very good with the names, but that's how it is. Um, and they, they coined this term. And like I said, it's all about feeling like you're getting caught. So if you got a new job and you're sitting there and you're doing some projects and you're just feeling like, okay, when is someone going to come and tell me that I don't belong here? Or that I cheated my way in f f at, to college or whatever, or to the job. And just having that feeling deep inside of not, not feeling like you belong, it can be very stressful actually. So I'm gonna give you some small coping mechanisms because other than actually thinking about you being a smart person, if you feel like this, you could also say something. Because like I said in the beginning, a lot of us actually have imposter syndrome. So bringing it up can be a really good strategy. And be aware of your story. So when I get this feeling, I tend to, at some point I actually wrote this down. So I made this piece of paper and framed it. And it had all of my accomplishments. I'm saying like, okay, so if I saw someone else with these accomplishments, I would think of them as a success, right? So that would mean that I'm also a success. A success. <laughs> and I'm not an imposter because I've done all of these things. I've made the podcast now. I've started a YouTube channel. I wrote a book. Like all of these things. I have a high education. But I still feel like do I really belong here once in a while and <laughs> just right now actually wh who am I to be sitting here and telling you guys about this but the thing is I read a lot about this and I know the feeling so I might as well tell you about it and give you the coping mechanisms that I've been doing and that I've been reading about that might help you so that's kind of what I what I want to get into is, or what I am getting into is, how do we actually get rid of this? So figure out what have you actually done? What's your story? And then maybe make a new story for yourself. Be aware of your thoughts on it and try to figure out, okay, so each morning I am, I recently, like you might've seen in one of my earlier videos, I read the book Soundtracks by John Acuff. I think I got the name right. Um, and he has this thing about each morning and each night, you say all of these things to kind of teach yourself to have a more positive soundtrack. And one of, one of the things I started saying is, I am a YouTuber, because I am. That's what I'm doing right now, right? And I'm actually, I have a YouTube channel, which makes me a YouTuber. But it's also one of the things where I'm like, like I said, wh why? <laughs> Who am I to do this, right? But 
each day I believe it more and more because I'm changing my story and I'm believing in myself. We'll see what happens, right? And I might stop being a YouTuber at some point, but right now that's what I am. And it doesn't really matter if I'm supposed to be there or not because I made the choice to do it and now I'm doing it and that's amazing. So imposter syndrome, go home. So I would love to for you to share in the comments where in your life do you experience imposter syndrome? It could be work, it could be studies, it could be relationships, it could be a lot of places. So do share with me and if you have some great uh, advice on how to get past it, also share those. Have an amazing and reflective day.